So this is the Amlogic S912. Yeah. So here the Amlogic, and who are you? Oh, yes, I'm engineer. I'm in charge of Taiwan Energy Taiwan office. Uh, so I'm in charge of the sales and the marketing guys, and also in charge of the office. Manager. So this is the new Octa-Core S912. It's an Octa-Core ARM Cortex A53 CPU, 64-bit. Yeah. With a, what is the GPU? Uh, uh, the, the GPU core is the TA30. TA30. Yes. How many core? Yeah, that's the secret. So you are come. To, you have the the, the the stay very soon. We are the chipset will be coming in this month. This month. Yes. So a uh, very powerful GPU. Exactly. Octa core ARM Cortex A53. Exactly. Yes. This is a high end ARM logic. Exactly. That. So this kind of GPU we are not talking for the OTT setup bus, but also IP setup bus also for gaming machine. So. So we, we think that for the you know new new home entertainment uh, the products so it should have the video and also have the gaming it's very important for the you know home you know not, not just home entertainment products yeah so we, we produce this kind of products for high end uh, OTT set uh, sub products and you have a 4K 10 bit H HEVC yes uh, 60 frames per second HDMI 2.0 A with HDR 10 yes and Dolby Vision exactly. what is that? HLG. Oh, HLG is the, the uh, video format that uh, you know uh, typically for the BBC and the Fuji TV. So they need the HLG format. That's not so popular in the world, but it's very typical for these two uh, video streaming the, the content providers. Nice. And uh, then there's a VP9 H265 uh, 4K DRM. Yeah. Uh, that means you can do lots of advanced 4K video delivery of the future. Yeah, so yes. Very important. Exactly. And Dolby and everything. Yes. And uh, what's on the other side? It's just uh, the Chinese. Chinese. Version? Yes. Chinese. So yeah. how soon exactly? Uh, we will get a sample this month, and we will be you know, go for production in the, maybe the end of end of Q3. So we have some targeting the the alpha side customer. They will have the sample very soon. So we will build the product. So you can see that uh, the product will be launched very soon. So this yeah. is a high end above 905, right? Exactly. So there's 905 and 912. 905, 912, yes, correct. All right. Is it the a bigger CPU? It's more expensive. Yeah, the CPU size you uh, the package size is the five, uh, 15 by 15. Now it's maybe bigger than the S95, but well, similar. Uh, the, the same the, the same size with the S95X. Uh, not sorry. The, the bigger than the S95, 95X and 95 x because 95 x and 95 x is 13 by 13, but this kind of GPU can see 15 by 15. So it's from 30 by 30 to 50 by 50 now. Exactly, yes. All right, let's go over here. This right. is the 905. Uh, 905 product? 905 so is, uh, is already very, very stable, very popular. Yeah. Yes, now, so show me another product, maybe in the end of last month, uh, end of last year, and early, or early this, this year. So we have very good quality S95 product. So uh, so they provide very good uh, stable qualities. And, and you have Alibaba. Alibaba, yes. Alibaba box. You have a Xiaomi. Yeah. You have Baidu. Oh. You okay. have all the big guys. <laughs> Maybe. We will try. <laughs> you, you try. Yeah. And then uh, you have uh, Skyworth. Source the TV inside the TV, exactly. And uh, this is this is the new 905X. Yeah. Uh, so there's an upgrade of 905. Yeah, that was a little bit different because 905 they have integrated VP9 decoder inside for 4K 60 frames, and also integrate uh, integrate uh, your know, HDR10, HLG support, and also have the integrate the uh, mega big uh, mega inside and audio deck. So you have know, highly integration chipset, and also can support the Android TV version because it support VP9 decoder. So uh, in the two weeks before the Google I/O show, you can see the you know your fantastic product from Xiaomi announced in the Google I/O show that use our chipset to have the Android TV, the new generation Android TV. So the only uh, for 905, there was no VP9. No VP9. So only add VP9 is enough for Android TV or other thing also. Uh, yes, Android TV is the first thing to target because uh, the Android, Android TV they requires a VP9 for the decoder, but. Uh, but you know, yeah, it's a very high integration product, and we also is the skating partner with the Netflix for 4K decoder. So that was typically for the worldwide overseas the operators business. 905, there was no Netflix 4K. We can support Netflix 4K. You see, also 905, but all, all only 905X. Yes, and the difference in that is 905 which has HDR10 support, but 905 doesn't have the HDR10. Okay. So it depends on the future to uh, be the 4K video. It should have the 4K. Uh, should have the HDR10 yeah. So. Only Netflix can support HDR10. So this is Netflix 4K. Yeah, exactly. With HDR. 
technology, yeah, just let us advocate demonstration. That means we can, you know, we are the partnership with Netflix, so we demonstrate the Netflix the content in this area. That's cool. You have some other Netflix news? Oh yeah, over there. Yes. So you get more Netflix support? Yes. Uh, I think that we, can, we have to introduce the, the product we just announced this uh, in the early May in Japan. Nice uh, Japan, the first Apple TV set up with Netflix integration with Android product. You can see that it's the operation name called the NT device in Japan and uh, it's fully, fully certified for 1080p Netflix. So we can give you the very uh, short demonstration. You can see that the, we can purchase the product in the market. And this one, huh? This one, yes. Yeah. Yes, we call the Guang Box. Guang Box okay. Plus. So you can see that the UI full is uh, the uh, Japan style. And then when we click to the Netflix application, you can see it totally can get the content through the internet. And Netflix popular in Japan? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. So what is uh, required to get Netflix support? Oh uh, yeah, that's it nice, you know. Um, either because the uh, is, our, is, our audience partner, they got the, the business opportunity from the net, uh, NTTs, and NTTs say that the product should have the should have the Netflix support. That's why we got the we got the opportunity to can work with Netflix. But there's not only Netflix. There's also Netflix 4K support. is different, right? Yes, the, just the start, just the beginning. You know, yeah. the, the first not just the start from the Netflix in the 1080p design, and then with some very good experience with Netflix portings, and then we move to the 4K development. All right. Yep. And uh, then you have some other devices around yeah. here. Uh, this is a Melee Wi-Fi uh, speaker. This Wi-Fi speaker, but we didn't have the static demo earlier. Okay. And, uh, you don't want to make too much phone, noise. Bow phone television. Uh, better on the smart TV with all the T A sixty six design inside. Uh, what is a T eight sixty six? That's similar to a uh, which CPU? Uh, I think eight zero two. If you uh, yes, exactly. You, if you want to you know compare with the setup bus network, should be it's similar like the S A twelve. Okay, eight twelve. Yeah. And then uh, you have uh, all these different nice looking devices. Okay, this one is really nice. That uh, this product just got the the this, uh, 2016 CS uh, added trust award. Yeah. It's here, so it's really nice because the end is always inside. It purely is a very um. Is it PC? It's PC, but very cheap PC. All right. And there's uh, some other here. This looks like this. That's a very special design from the China last year. The I don't I don't know how to explain by English, but it's not easy. Typically, you can, can you use your uh, spare uh, internet bandwidth to get some uh, money return. To get money I back. I, I don't know how, how to do that, but you know, that's the, the concept is to use your spare uh, internet bandwidth and, it, and to help customers and other, uh, you know, maybe help the, the other people can, can have the data transmission. So, and then. Is it peer to peer? You become a little host uh, for a peer to peer service, mm, maybe. Maybe, but. Maybe. But I don't know how fast that works. It sounds but. like a great business. <laughs> And uh, what's going on in here? Uh, this is a smart home. Yes, uh, smart home solution. Demonstration room. That's now we all have very good the partner with all the TCL. This is very important yeah. customer here. So in this room, we have integrated all of the uh, the smart home devices. For example, the lighter. For example, the the, the ultra sensor. So what do you say? The light. Light. Yeah. The this light. is Amlogic light. Yes, <laughs> this is the uh, TCL light. So you can use that. Uh, you can use the smartphone, uh, smart, a smartphone or tablet with the application yeah. uh, APK to control the light. And then there's the sensor, a that's a light sensor, and also have the you know the mm, the gas sensor, gas speaker, and also have the some SOS uh, ring. Uh, all of that is is the smartphone idea. You can and you the, the what you do is just an app on the TV box, or you yes, do more. Yes, we our chip say it's really inside the TV box. It's also the home uh, the smart home controller. So our chips provide the Android. You know, we are running the Android uh virtual Android OS, and all of the application uh, goes through the our system. So you add Zigbee to the TV box. Is that what you do? Yeah, so Zigbee inside is the TV box. Zigbee box. This yeah. is the TV box. Yeah, TV box. So can we look around? Yeah. So yeah. there's a, a lot of HDMI in this one. This is a special one. Yeah, it's HDMI only. Yeah. And right this here. This one's all the three type the television yeah. design. So we have the TV, the system yeah. outside, and remove to the from the the, the panel. So. It's a new concept. I think we think that is very important for uh, you know for the new future because you, you won't change the TV every year, right? Yeah. But you can upgrade the system every year by changing the box. So that will keep the, the monitor outside because it can perform the 4K quality. Yeah. Yes. So we're here in Taiwan. 
And in Taiwan, there's a company called AOC. Oh, They're launching yes, a yes. beautiful remix on 905. So that's also a new opportunity with Amlogic, right? That should be, yes. So what do you think? Do you think uh, like uh, Amlogic is not only a TV box, maybe it's also a PC yeah, SoC? So, um, I think that the all-in-one PC, the, the, the current mindset is used that the Android OS inside and go to do the all-in-one PC. But that would be very similar like the PC, but they can have the more the entertainment function inside, so it can have the good video quality and the, uh, you know, can some gaming function inside. So I think that would be the, another good chance because the first generation, the the AOS, uh, all-in-one PC in LC is designed by our team, we provide the dual core product inside. So right now we have a very good chipset, uh, 905 or 912. I think that's a very good chance we can approach LC again. And the 905 is very good price. Is that we have very good? Uh, we, it's, it's What's really the price? Good. A secret? Yes, secret. <laughs> it's a very cheap, very affordable I SoC. I think it's really uh, cost in fact competitive in the world. Most. You know the CP ratio is really it's really nice and really high. So we uh, we 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 thought we can provide a very competitive pricing. It's stable. Yes, yeah, stable. The heat a little bit more than a eight nine five, no? Is it uh, because is it the CPU, CPU? the CPU the thickness is higher, so that means that uh, the kit will be a little bit a little bit high, but still really low in the in compared with the other four solutions. So we still provide a very good uh, some uh, on the you know the power consumption, the thermal. We are still really good. We and the nine twelve. Well will be good. The power yeah, consumption is really higher. powerful. But so the uh, the thermal should be higher, the power consumption will become it's really powerful. Eight core CPU inside, so we can do a lot of things. Now, now maybe we will similar like the PC. So um, well, we think that for the 912, we can get more, uh, you know, more advanced uh, the, uh, and the ten, you know, the, uh, and the ten, you know, in the living room, this kind of, uh, uh, you know, we can put, have more, uh, more for example, game, game and the movie and another thing can integrate yeah. in the, the You have device. very big focus on Android. Yes. But is there other uh, OS that is very uh, good Linux. supported? We have Linux. So you can see that we Linux. have the... Uh, the Linux development board uh, created by all the various strategy the, the Korea makers. It's yeah. called the Hacker Node. They developed the... the we call the Android yeah. C1 and Android C2. It's based on S9, S805. This one is 905 product, so yeah. especially for this kind of product, if they have really good performance, yeah. they can compete with the Raspberry Pi, we have maybe double or triple performance. Nice, and there's good Linux GPU. support. Um, and so, for this one, oh, okay. yeah, it's a hard, hard kernel. It's hard kernel, so I can hard. I cannot hard open, open it. It's hard kernel. Yes. Uh, so this is a very affordable and it's Linux support. The yeah. Linux support is okay. Yes, that's Linux. Linux based the development board. Development for the okay. Linux space. All right, so this is a lot of things happening. Not only Android, Linux. Yes, also. Linux. Yes. All right. Also, this kind of product is also based on Linux because NS yeah. NS uh, NS Mobile OS is based yeah. on Linux development. So this is also Linux based product. So the Amlogic engineers support all this. Uh, we wow. provide the Linux kernel and the driver. But the, kind, the other kind of the application will provide by customer themselves. Yeah. But we will do our best to, to, you know, to enhance our kernel. To improve the kernel. Exactly. Make it faster. Exactly. And take all the open source yeah. software from Linaro or some other guys to make yeah. even more. And uh, this is the development board. Uh, so many people buy this already? Yeah, so you can purchase it from the website very easy. So I think we sell you know, several K a, a year. Several, uh, several, you know. Maybe 30, 50k a year for this kind of product. So a lot of the company they will purchase the how can the Android uh, development board to develop for their uh, own, own products. So so it's it's pretty nice because we uh, actually we have very good partners to help us to develop the Linux based products.